Hi, my name's Tessa Levins. I'm Senior Peatland Restoration Officer for the Yorkshire Peat Partnership Project and we're here in Wensleydale in the Yorkshire Dales to have a look at some of the peatland restoration works going on up here at the moment. What we're going to do is film a day in the life of a restoration officer. now and at this time of year we're starting to get some of the breeding birds coming back up to the uplands um, from the coasts generally um, where they start nesting and breeding um, sort of from March to, to June. Um, we saw a, a flock of golden plovers earlier on, I heard a curlew and there were also some lapwings around um, a bit lower down the fell. So this is everything that's been done in the central area of Stags Fell so far this year, since December. Um, we've got another contractor working on the western area and this eastern area of the site hasn't been worked on yet. Um, but between 3rd of December and now, which is getting towards the end of February, we've done all, all this work along here. So that's grip blocking, reprofiling hags, um, they're going to be moving on to some bare peat work and more reprofiling later on. Diggers are currently down at this end, there's nine diggers working in this section, um, blocking the grips and reprofiling the grips between the dams. Hello, I'm Simon Bland uh, from Barker and Bland and we've been on Stagsville, uh, more or less blocking drains and uh, revegetating bare peat. Uh, as you can see on here, uh, we're using peat dams and reprofiling. Uh, good reprofiling more or less uh, eradicates your drain line uh, so it allows water to come right to the surface uh, with vegetation so I would hope next year you'll come round and you won't see we've been here. Most of the excavators we use on the peatland restoration sites here on the YPP sites uh, weigh between seven and eight tonnes which sounds pretty heavy for such a sensitive habitat but actually they're incredibly low ground pressure and exert less pressure on the surface of the peat than a human footfall. This is one of the grips that has been blocked um, just now by the digger that's working there. Um, he's done some reprofiling work and it may or may not need some dams installing up or downstream as well just to make sure the flow of the stream is completely stopped. Up until about five minutes ago this was a flowing drain which was eroding both downwards into the peat and downwards um, and we'd be losing peat from this drain uh, down downstream and eventually off into the rivers um, but now with the reprofiling and any dams that are installed that should hopefully stop. This is some of the sphagnum moss that grows on, on blanket bogs um, it contains a lot of water as you can see um, and we use this um, in fragments to as part of the bare peat uh, revegetation work because it's the sphagnum mosses that actually form the peat and have the potential to turn um, an eroding bog back into a healthy peat forming habitat. This is what was the hag side of a, a gully um, that's been reprofiled recently. So a few weeks ago, this will have been a vertical bare peat face with some overhanging vegetation. What the excavators have done recently is roll back that vegetation, reprofile the side of the gully to a much more stable angle, and then put turves of vegetation, including the root layer, so that it doesn't die off over that newly reprofiled face of bare peat to protect it from the elements. Any bare peat that they couldn't uh, revegetate with, with the turves, they will 
put on some heather brush which has been either donated from a site nearby or in this case it's actually come from the site itself from an area where there was much longer heather um, and that heather brush is has a uh, dwarf shrub seed mixed in with it as well as some sphagnum fragments to make sure that the vegetation takes. This is one of the peat dams that's been built in one of the smaller grips on this site. Um, the dams are a sort of wedge shaped dam that are wider and also much higher than the, the grip itself so that stop the water getting over, under or around. Um, the any bare faces of, of the dam itself is revegetated using turves um, and usually there's a runoff channel on one side which is just a shallow depression um, to help in high flow to help the water dissipate across the moor and through the vegetation rather than flowing around the edges of the dam and causing more erosion. just finished the site visit here in Wensleydale. Um, we had a look at some of the grip blocking that's been done uh, with peat dams in the smaller grips. Also the reprofiling that's been done between those dams. We had a look at the reprofiling done on the larger peat hags um, with turves and also some of the bare peat revegetation work that they've been doing with heather brush, um, dwarf shrub seed and sphagnum fragments. We're now going to go back to the office and download the data and, and have a look at it all compared with our own mapping work. Thank you.